Hello Leo! Okay, this is going to be your June 2021 reading. Um, and uh, I hope you don't mind the sound of my electric fan because uh, it's hot in my bedroom here. So yes, I'm in my bedroom and things go down. With a, I'm with a lady in this bedroom. I've got uh, Goddess Kuan Yin. I only deal with goddesses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The mediocres don't get chance, just goddesses. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, okay, uh, she's my lady here, and she's keeping me company in my bedroom. So join us here in our bedroom for your June 2021 reading, Leo. And uh, we'll start with your life, and then your love, and then your career. Okay. So uh, we'll do a uh, oracle first. And then we'll pull up some moon cards and then we'll do the tarot. Okay, let's begin. All right. Okay. I hope you um, you guys are okay. Well, I'm sure you are fine. Fire signs are fine. Uh, we just had the uh, lunar eclipse and the uh, full moon in Sagittarius. Uh, I believe uh, on this energy shift you will find your life's purpose okay so uh, watch out for that you might have something good in store for you coming in for the next uh, two to three weeks Leo okay so we'll pull out one card for your life oh, good. okay love and your career Next, we'll pull it. Okay, let's just discuss this first. All right. So I show here. Um, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Okay. Seems like you're meditating, um, taking a rest, and really looking inwards. Okay, the owl spirit. Um, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. I think you're, um, in general, you're getting more aware of uh, your state of being, Leo. Okay. Uh, for your love advice, I'm showing here. Okay, it says here, I honor how I feel, how I want to feel. Okay. So with this card, I can tell that there's some kind of um, gloominess happening in your love sector, in your love life. So uh, it's okay, you know, if uh, you're not feeling good about what's happening, then it's you don't feel good about it. You know, just accept it. Okay? Alright? Um, next, for your career, I choose to learn through love. Okay, I choose to learn through love. So, um, what I see here is that this message is telling you, okay, to, uh, to learn some lessons. There's some lessons you need to learn, uh, and uh, you have to be grounded. In term, with with regards to your work, uh, with your career uh, prospects, are you looking for a new job or something like that? Um, or you might have uh, butt butt headed with uh, an authority figure. Okay. So let's see what the uh, moon or uh, monology oracle cards. Okay, give us one card for life, one card for love, and one card for career. Okay, general love advice, disseminating moon, take time to breathe out. Wow. 
You see how look at the the way the pictures are coming out. They're so aligned. So I think it's uh it's a good time for you to meditate this June. Okay? And try to really get in touch with what is happening around you, Leo. And it might be a good time to have a me or alone time. You know, take time for yourself and try to figure out uh, who you really are and what you want to do with your life. Okay, next. Okay, wow, okay. On your love sector, work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. Okay. So there's a there's a lot of fear involved here. So I honor what I want to feel. So you so hmm. So you might have encountered a lot of disappointments. Okay, let's uh let's try to read, okay. Let's, uh, okay, let's check out the career as well. You have nothing will come out of this situation. Void of course movement. So, um, hmm. hmm. Okay, my intuition is telling me that you like butted head with uh, an authority figure. And I don't think uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay. Seminating moon. Seminating moon. I can't find it. Where is it? Okay. Alright, I think the let's start with this one. This one popped out quick. Quickly, nothing will come out of this situation. Sorry, we're gonna have to start with your career sector. In a form of astrology known as horary, where in astrological chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded, a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or the situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news depending on what you are asking. For example, if you were worried about something, whatever it is, or whatever it was, this card can be taken as a sign that there's nothing to worry about. However, if you ask about a new project of any kind, including re new relationships, it's a sign that adjusts your expectations or change things so you can get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you can currently, what you're currently creating. Okay, so, okay, so your mantra should be, I trust in my highest good. The chances of something are, something are diminishing. Something better may be around the corner. Believe what you will get that you need, but that you will, that you will get what you need. Surrender to the divine. Take time out. Meditate and contemplate. Okay, so this is asking you, Leo, to just drop it. <laughs> Because if, if it's not producing anything of uh, whatever situation at work or whatever uh, event that you participated on, uh, you need to move forward from it, okay? Alright. Let's look... Uh, I can't seem to find it. Wow. Let's look at your love sector. Hopefully this is good news. New moon in Scorpio. Um, however, there's fears involved here. So, Whew. Leo. Um, but the thing with Scorpio energy is it it is requiring you to change. So, it's requiring you to... Uh, to change okay all right let's read through this card suggests rebirth change think of your situation as the phoenix that's rising from the ashes as the birth death rebirth paradigm 
that what the Scorpio energy is, that's what the Scorpio energy is all about. Whatever you have been through, okay, there's a new start ahead. It might be a little dark. Yeah, we, we, we Scorpios tend to bring in the darkness. <laughs> I almost, okay, almost certainly won't be rainbows and unicorns. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, so this might be the effect of the eclipse. Uh, on your collective sign Leo but this is something good so if you're not feeling well it's going to transform this card also suggests that if you are magical then this is a time for you to work magic okay working the magic okay it may also be herald to start a uh, start off a sexier time if you're <laughs> okay all right, let's not go there because I'm in the bedroom. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> and I'm a Scorpio. I might I might uh, go overboard. Okay, Scorpio is a sign that likes to go deep into the body, mind, and spirit. So what this card comes up, when this card comes up, there's nothing superficial about what is coming. Okay, what is coming for? All right. So you need to be for real. You know, if you're not feeling good about your love life, what's happening, then take it as it is. You know, if it's not going well, it's not going well. Okay, but that's because you, Leo, need to make some changes. So it's not all about the other person you're going to have to make the changes. If you don't make the changes and transform, which is required, which is the scorpionic energy is requiring you, you don't change, you still get this, you know, the gray, uh, not so good feeling, you know, because the Scorpio energy wants to push you beyond the boundaries of of your current situation okay so um, take time to breathe out you know take a time out card date yourself uh, if there's no uh, new prospect then go out by yourself and uh, again like I said the eclipse the lunar eclipse will the lunar eclipse will uh, show you your life's purpose. So, June 2021 is a good time to rediscover yourself. Okay. Alright. Wow, I'm so pumped up with energy. I have Leo in my chart. So, I can relate. Okay. First card up. Past energy is four pentacles, so you might have financial trouble. You're holding back on something, so you're. But the good thing is, you know, it's a. It really tells. Okay, four pentacles, past energy. Uh, it really shows me that you need to, to really <laughs> meditate so that your energies will align, because you're out of sorts. Especially with this, look at this card. Look at the grace. You know, it's like this part you love him, this part you hate him. You, you love him and you hate him, you love him and you hate him. It's like, you know, varying degrees of love and hate. So you like the person, but you hate him. Here's the thing, Leo if you love a person, you gotta love him with their good side and their ugly side you know you also have that you also have a good side and an ugly side so you gotta love yourself and then also love your partner or girlfriend or wife or whoever it is with with what they have you know who they are you can't like you know have an expectation on people and then 
since that expectation of yours are not meant, and then you get disappointed with the person, and then the person is just being themselves. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right, well, the good news is, Leo, in June, you might be getting a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this could be money coming from family member. Okay, you might get some assistance from a family member. Or you're, you're, um, you're gonna spend more time with family. Okay. Future, Nine of Pentacles, very good. Single, available, and yet abundant, yes. Okay. All right. Very good so far. See, you know, spirit is guiding you. Leo. See the owl, and then there's the bird. Okay. Rely on your intuition. Meditate. Okay. Next. We go for your love life. Okay, that one wants to come out. Fast energy. Ooh, Queen of Swords. So you just cut up somebody. You, you're done with the BS and you said sayonara. But that doesn't feel good. Well, it, this also tells me that somebody lied to you. And either you or the person left the situation. Well, I can't blame you for how you feel. So honor how you feel, because it was a tough battle. The Queen of Swords is a divorcee, so there's a separation. So if your boyfriend, girlfriend, you broke up, if your wife and husband, uh, you guys um, got a divorce. So somebody walked away, might be you. Queen of Cups. Okay, so you're still in that. Uh, you're still in that. Do I do I get back with him or do I get back with her? Kind of feeling. It's all right. Let it'll pass. Okay. So you still want to offer? Okay. Your cup to this person. So it's either you're dealing with a Libra, an air shine, or a water shine. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, I'm uh, sorry, um, Virgo, uh, sorry. what? Why am I saying? It could be an earth sign because of the pentacles here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for this uh, Queen of Swords. So Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups. And Queen of Cups. So again, um, you need to transform this. You need to balance your emotions from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, I can see here that you're undergoing a lot of extreme emotional imbalances, so uh, try to just stay grounded, meditate, okay? I think uh, they have a inkling with regards to your work, okay? Let's pull up some cards. Alright, so your first card, your past, is Temperance. So you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, Archangel Michael is looking over this situation. And um, they're actually preparing you for a new beginning. But you really have to get to a hold of your emotions. You're dealing with a soulmate. So in June, you might encounter a soulmate. But you're gonna have to take some rest because you, you fought the battles, you know. So, Queen of Swords, you cut somebody off and you're tired of the games and the BS and you need to rest. So, Four of Swords, okay. 
you'll have to really sit this one out and sort your feelings through and ride through this uh, whole thing everything will be fine okay you're single you're abundant you're financially stable in June and you're taking care of family that's what matters okay everything else it's all in your head everything else Leo is all in your head okay you got what you need bottom of the deck is the magician so you got everything that you need you don't need anybody else at the moment so June stick it through okay rest meditate and get that emotion sorted out once you've done that in the near future you'll be better stronger and more abundant than ever okay so whoever you're dealing with you know let it go okay let it go release it that's what the scorpionic energy wants you to know release that energy okay all right so i i hope this reading helps and the messages that came through well will give you clarity leo so that's it for your reading for june 2021 if you like this video just give us a like there if you're new to this channel give us a subscribe and i'd like to know uh you know hit us in the comment section and tell us whether this resonates with you and give us your feedback on your situation you know we might be able to uh you know if you okay you can uh, comment on this video on how it resonates and what happened and uh, you know we might uh, we can have a discussion online anyway um, that's it for now so I'll see you in your July 2021 reading thank you for watching Leo good luck